Hello and welcome to this special IBM JSTART presentation. My name is Vijay Deep and I'll be your host for this presentation. I shall begin by introducing you to our team and how we can help telecommunications companies become more agile and innovative. The IBM JSTART team has been evangelizing emerging technologies within IBM and with customers for over 10 years. In fact, JSTART is responsible for some of the first engagements around Java, Web Services, and XML. More recently, our focus has been on Web 2.0, specifically mashup technologies. For the past two years or so, we have conducted over 70 Web 2.0 engagements with customers in various industries worldwide. Currently, we are taking a greater industry focus to apply the concepts, principles, and technologies of Web 2.0. From our work in the field, we observe that telecom companies have a window of opportunity to tap into the business value promise of Web 2.0. Now that you're introduced to the team, let's take a closer look at how we can enable smart telecom. Our purpose here is to provide a quick overview of the dynamic market conditions, highlight how telecommunications companies can potentially respond and adapt to them. Web 2.0 mashup technologies are presented as one of the enablers for transforming into a smart telecom. The telecommunications industry is evolving quite rapidly. Mobility is a growing significant part, but it is not just voice services that is appealing. Even more potential lies in content distribution to consumers. As consumers gravitate to more capable devices with full browsers, content from the internet becomes easily accessible. Recognizing this, a number of entities including device manufacturers are trying to build direct business relationships with consumers and competing for developers and partners to make their content offerings more appealing. It is important to note that once other entities build direct consumer relationships, they break into the exclusive trusted billing relationship that service providers have with their mobile customers they become an alternative channel for developers and content providers. Another shift in the landscape is that companies that we often think as web companies, Google, Skype, and a number of startups, are encroaching on traditional telecom services such as location and telephony. Telecoms also need to recognize that the new trend in communication, away from conversation, but towards collaboration. Open content economy where users can directly access content is replacing the traditional walled garden model telecoms had favored. Consumers are not only consuming more content when provided with more choice, they're also becoming producers of derivative content. Additionally, as referenced earlier, communication is taking place in context of content or activities which is transforming social networking or collaboration platforms into an alternative communication channel. So the question becomes, how can telecoms participate and add value in an open content economy? First, telecoms need to take stock of their core network capabilities, presence, messaging, etc., as well as the content they can offer, for example, business directories. Next, they need to find ways to inject their core services and content into the open content ecosystem. A basic example of this is a restaurant locator service. A telecom operator can add value to the consumer of that service by enabling reservations to be made via their communication offerings. Telecoms also need to address how to facilitate the creation of a rich set of solutions that leverage their core capabilities and content. With increased competition for developers, telecoms should look for ways in which they can empower new classes of users. Users who may not typically have IT development experience or training and require simpler, more intuitive ways to construct rather than develop solutions. While aiming to meet this design point by building componentized reusable assets, telecoms will recognize another advantage, reduced costs for innovation. Mashup technology is an attractive choice for telecoms given that it has a potential for lowering the barrier to application creation, improving productivity, and enhancing collaborative innovation. We define a mashup as a lightweight web application created by combining information or capabilities from more than one existing source to deliver new functions and insights. In our work with customers, we actually validate the potential of mashups. 
A few telecom service providers offer a family friend locator service. When an Asian telecom provider wanted to deliver a similar service, they thought it would take months to design and prototype it. But using IBM mashup technology, they achieved it in a matter of weeks. We helped a partner construct a trouble ticket management mashup with embedded communications cap capability in record time. The JSTART team is currently engaging telecom customers to help them recognize the market challenges and respond to by leveraging Web 2.0 concepts, principles, and technologies. Through our research, we found that the innovation cycle is very long and a lot of time and resources consumed in the ideation phase. Additionally, most ideas require the same core services and content, but custom solutions are built for each one. This makes experimentation and innovation expensive. Instead, reusable assets can be designed and built to improve productivity and service innovation. Telecoms have to organically grow their ecosystem and make it easy for partners of various sizes to leverage their core content and services. Integration needs to be simplified and streamlined because business cycles are shortened. Once the cost of experimentation is lowered and the business ecosystem is expanded, new business models can be evaluated for the developing content economy. In such dynamic market conditions, it is important for every company to maintain visibility of their business and their industry. JSTART can help jumpstart your initiatives, and I welcome you to collaborate with us. Visit us at www.ibm.com slash software slash JSTART. Thank you for your audience.